Our plan is working, my friend. Washington's troops are scattered. The palace is unguarded. This will help you along. The mechanism's rather tricky, but I'm sure you'll be able to unravel it. Very well. I will see you once I have succeeded. So guys, welcome back. And we're playing Assassin's Creed 3, the DLC. This is part seven. The uh, I can't remember the name. It's like something the halls of injustice. That's the one. Oh my god! But uh, it's mostly straightforward. But there are some bits that are kind of confusing. So hopefully, following this guide, you should be able to get through it. One hundred percent sync, no problem. Looks pretty good. All right. So the first thing you want to do is fly up here, and up here there's um something that you can investigate why is this loose now the next area that you want to look is just fly over there as you can see that's the next thing to investigate it's pretty straightforward what target was up here and then the last one is just down there at that door that uh, you can't really see it from here but it's just on the left there you go if you jump down or you drop down, whatever, and uh, there you go. So that could take a while looking around because it's not really obvious. These doors were forced open. So hopefully that helped save some time if you guys are watching this before you actually played it. The odds are most people have probably finished it by now. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. Mother, you failed to stop Washington, but maybe I can follow you to him. Okay, so now you just like follow the marker pretty much. Um, and that leads you on, but there's a bit coming up up here that's kind of difficult, so you have to um, just be careful. Like it's, I don't think it's right here, but I'll I'll, I'll say it anyway when we get there. But so far, uh, this part of the DLC I'm liking. It's it's fun. Someone in the palace. Shoot anything that comes through there. Yeah, because that's going to stop me. <laughs> so yeah, um, this bit isn't too hard. It's just um, when you're jumping down into the pits with the animals, you don't want to jump near them or right beside them because then they'll attack you. Uh, and it's helpful if you equip your wolf power because then... You can just go invisible straight away and you should be fine. But of course, the first act of business is ridding yourself of all these guys. That was weird. But killing all these guys, um, obviously you have to do it, but it's a lot of fun. And I don't think I get hit in this. Because again, fighting is so much fun. And when you learn how to fight dark types, it just, you can just chain all your attacks together and it's ridiculous. But like I said, you just make sure you see where the enemy, the animal is, like, and you jump away from it, go invisible, like so, and basically then you can complete your investigation, and then once you're done, you can uh, fly around and fly over here, S sound, safe says now, see, like down here, if I jump down there, you're so close, the bear will attack you, so just wait. Because it, once it attacks you, you have to kill it. it. It just keeps attacking you until you either die or you kill it. So 
Just wait till it goes, and there you go. Can't see you now. Too much for a human. All right, and um, I w actually jump back down here again because I think there's um another investigation point down here, but that's the at the opposite end. Like you can see it through here. Um, I think yeah, at the other side you can see that's where the investigation has to be. So, uh, just remember that. So it's on the other side of the line pit. I think, I think it's the line, but yeah, it's just down there. Just to save yourself some time, but just it's not like a huge area that you can search, so I don't see people getting stuck on that. Yeah, so uh, your mom is a badass in this. I mean, she reaches places uh, in this that like you can only reach with your flying power. So I find that's a little um, impressive, quite impressive, in fact. You know. Okay, so this part coming up around here is um, the part I was talking about that can be a bit tricky. But it's a little bit further because you just have to swim around this area, which is kind of fun. It's, you don't do much swimming, at least not in this uh, DLC anyway. I think this is the first time you get to swim in the DLC, which is cool. It's a nice, good bit of fun. Um, and it, lo it does look good the way the water splashes and stuff. I like that. All right. Um, so it's, it's just around here, the bit I was talking about. Like, um, you have to climb up. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself as I usually do. But you just fly up here and fly up there again. Now, that makes me question, how did your mom get to this point, you know? Because <laughs> she doesn't have the flying ability. So here's the difficult part, because when you're about to here, you can't, um, you have to jump and you have to time it perfectly, the flying thing, because if you miss it, you'll die. I know this because I've fallen to my death before a couple of times on that part of the mission, um, before I just, I restarted it and tried it again, so. Here we go, and again, this that part is kind of difficult because if you don't, if you miss the timing, well, you're dead. So, and um, just a little puzzle up here as well. Um, well, it's a, it's a little bit on, and you have to fight some guys first. It's actually just after here. That 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 was a nice cin cinematic. So um, them guys there, the big guys in the green. Um, you can only kill them by blocking them. Like if, if they attack you and um, you disarm them, that's the only way you can kill them. But uh, also the bear thing works, so I recommend using that against them. See, like you can't even use them for a meat shield, I don't think. You might be able to, but I wouldn't try it, because it didn't work there. So uh, these are the guys, they're pretty easy, like, as you can see. Nice move. Okay, so this bit, um, it's kind of tricky, but the way I do it, and it's the way that works, is really easy, right? What you have to do is you move the first one, so you press A once, um, and you move it uh, just to the right side there. Then you move the second one to the middle, and then the bottom one to the one facing you, so it's pretty straightforward, like. Just to save you some time, and that's the full sync condition. You have a minute to do it, but it only takes about four or five seconds. So there you go.
And that's how she managed to capture the scepter. So well done. Mother, it is time I finished what you began. Alright, so this pit, bit this bit is pretty straightforward. I mean, um, all you do is follow the marker and I, I can't really see anything going wrong here. I mean, um, I got it on my first attempt and like, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. So I'm pretty sure anyone can as well. So but it's a nice little bit of cinematic as well. I guess that's the only hard part there when you're just about to fall there. But um, other than that, it's... It looks well, but you're just running, basically, basically through an obstacle course, and uh, of course, when you can't run anymore, you might as well smash your way through. <laughs> can't go wrong there. Yeah, so the play sets to fall apart here, um, so you just, I don't think there's a timer, well, no, there's not a timer per se, but at the same time, uh, you don't want to take your time doing this, just in case, like, uh, some things fall, I don't know if they're scripted to fall, um, on, at a certain time, like, they could be scripted to fall just as you land, so it looks like it's about to fall, but, um, there's always the possibility that, um, you could f fail that mission by taking too long so just don't rush yourself but don't like pace yourself either you know <laughs> it's the only thing i can really say but um having said that like i know in an earlier episode of this i was complaining that the dlc about the dlc and assassin's creed in general and i was wrong because i do love assassin's creed i was just in a bad mood at that time um and the DLC is fun, it's just what I was trying to say is, it's not like the regular Assassin's Creed, doesn't, because in any of the others you never had like superpowers and going invisible and being able to fly and stuff like that, and I was just saying it was different and it's kind of different to get used to kind of deal, that's all, I wasn't saying anything like, I didn't mean like to be like Assassin's Creed is bad, it's not, but anyway guys this is the end of the mission, I hope you liked it, I'll talk to you guys later, have a great day.